Hey, it's going to YouTube. So, you know, it's best here. I just got done watching the brand new Apple's Back to the Mac event where they showed off some new cool stuff out there for you guys. The video should be available on Apple's website at some point today, but it's going to jump right into what they unveiled today. The first thing they talk about was the new brand new iLife 2011, which is going to be available today and it's going to run $49, actually more than the Snow Leopard upgrade, which is kind of sucks, but it's going to be $49. And if you already have a Mac, well, if you're buying a brand new Mac, um, soon it's going to be installed for free for you guys. But it, what the, the few things that they upgraded, they upgraded new iPhoto, which is going to have a new Places integration. So uh, the Places integration is going to be a lot more organized. So you can get on the map here, see where you took individual photos at very easily. Also new slideshows and uh, enhancements and stuff like that they showed off. Not really exciting stuff, um, but you know they showed it off, which is it's better than the previous version. Um, it's also they showed off the new full screen mode. So all the uh, uh, applications in iLife, you can press the, the, the I guess the plus button and make it. Full Full screen, which adds a, a new dynamic. It is a definitely uh, welcome and an easy way to organize your photos and movies and stuff like that. Now let's jump to iMovie. iMovie they uh, enhance some of the audio um, editing skills that people a lot wanted. People really wanted a lot in this brand new iMovie, and you can get real up close and personal with the audio and individually tinker every little piece of it. If one place place is too loud, you can easily lower it down very easily. And also added uh, instant replay in movies where you can instantly, if you're showing some sports or something like that. Uh, you can add an instant replay very easily to your timeline and also new movie trailers which I thought sounded corny but when they showed it, it actually looked really cool and the way you uh, uh, organize a movie trailer again is very simple and also to introduce faces so if you have uh, multiple videos of one person uh, you want to find that person in each one of those videos you can activate faces and they'll use face um, recognition technology and find that individual person so that's cool and also in garage band they redid garage band so they have uh, things called groove matching and flex time which really just helps your instruments um, you know get in rhythm so if you have in different individual instruments out of sync or out of line it can automatically combine those for you to sound a more realistic sound and um, also they did a, a, a they showed a demo where you can hook up your piano to a Mac and if you want to learn how to play the piano you can play with um, an orchestra as well and as you play in the Keys. If you mess up, it'll show that where you messed up at and uh, help you improve on that. So, I mean, that's something you got to see for yourself. Again, you'll watch the video. That looked cool, even though a lot of people aren't going to use that, but I guess that's pretty cool in GarageBand. Now, let's get to the fun stuff, okay? Uh, Steve Jobs actually showed us a brand new FaceTime for the Mac. So now you'll be able to FaceTime with the iPhone iPod Touch on your Mac desktop. And it's a very simple interface. Um, and uh, just simply call somebody up on your email address or phone number and boom, you're set. You're FaceTiming on the desktop. And that's going to be actually released today as a beta for Mac users on uh, Snow Leopard only. And uh, I can't wait to get that. I have another video covering that here soon. Now, let's get to the big beast of the show. An Apple showed off this brand new operating system they're going to be releasing called Mac OS X Lion. I'm about to say a lion, <laughs> but Mac OS X Lion. And one of the cool things they showed off is multi touch features. Now, they said they're not going to release a laptop with the touchscreen. Uh, they didn't show an iMac with the touchscreen. They said they're going to rather integrate you know, how you interact with the Magic Trackpad. The Magic Mouse and also the multi-touch glass uh, trackpad is all on all their laptops. They're going to integrate that in um, uh, in Mac OS X line because they're really bringing the iOS to this platform. And so you'll be able to do uh, cool things uh, with the multi gestures like uh, launch pad, which basically you, you'll launch it up and it'll look just like an, an iPad home screen. And you'll have multiple home screens. You can use the magic trackpad and actually just swipe through them. Um, you can arrange the application icons around however you want to. And also you can create individual folders. You got the video applications, a lot of video applications. Make one folder for your iMovie, for Final Cut, for ScreenFlow, whatever, in that one folder. So it's just like you interact on the iPad. And also there's a new thing called Mission Control. Um, and uh, and that basically is going to be combining expose and going to be combining spaces all into one. And uh, here's a picture of it. Again, you got to watch the video to actually see exactly how it works in action to really get a feel for it. But it looks very streamlined, very smooth, and very, very organized. Also, the uh, applications on Mac OS X line, um, if you close an application, open it back up, it'll start off where you just stopped that. So it'll have that same type of freeze type of multitasking, I guess. And uh, also the applications will be full screen. And also applications, you can, um, if you're a developer, you can move them into the brand new application store, the brand new app store for the desktop Mac. Yes, an app store just like you have for your iPhone on your Mac. Um, so I don't know whether this is going to be the only way you can download applications on your Mac. I highly doubt it. Uh, but this will be a better way to be uh, to find applications easily. 
Um, and it's going to be the same type of 70-30 split between developers. Developers get 70%. Apple gets 30 And uh, I think it's going to be pretty cool. So you can have free applications and paid applications just like the App Store for the iPhone. And that's going to be coming in 90 days. So 90 days, they're actually going to release the App Store for people who are running Snow Leopard. Um, and the Mac OS X Lion, the, the new uh, update for the operating system, is going to be available in summer 2011. So it's not that far off. Apple says they're on track for that release, so you'll be uh, looking forward to that. No price set yet. And now let's talk about the one more thing that Steve Jobs covered. And he basically said he wanted to combine the iPad with a laptop. And basically, they came up with the brand new redesigned MacBook Air. It's going to, the smallest point of this MacBook Air is 0.11 inches. So that's almost, almost one tenth of an inch. So that's really, really small. You can cut some bread with it. It's going to be full unibody, brand new unibody enclosure, uh, multi, a full multi-touch glass trackpad. It's going to be 13.3-inch LED display with a 1440 by 900 resolution. Very nice. Core 2 Dual Processor and also a FaceTime camera, which is basically an iSight. Looks like they're going to be renaming the iSight to FaceTime camera now. But the cool thing about it, it's going to have no hard drive, no optical drive at all. Yes. It's going to be running off of flash memory, just like the iPads and iPhone use. And they have, you know, pretty good range of uh, memory sizes there. And that is going to provide instant on. So as soon as you press that, that power button, it's turned on for you. That's really nice. And the battery life is awesome. Seven hours of battery life. 30 days of standby time for this new MacBook Air. 30 days. But that's not that wasn't even it. They also said this new this new MacBook Air is going to have a little brother. It's going to be 11.6 inch MacBook Air, um, resolution of 1366 by 768. It's going to have five hours of battery life, and it also will have 30 days of standby battery life as well. Now the uh, smallest version, the 11.6 inch MacBook Air, is going to start at $999, so $1,000. So these new MacBook Air is going to be starting at $1,000. And I have all the other prices you know, right here to the side of me. And uh, you can see how the prices go up depending on your memory and your, your processor speed and all that. So this is a uh, just a good overview of the brand new Apple event. I may have missed some couple things. Um, this video is running long already, but go to Apple's website. They have the video of the whole thing up there. Let me know what you think about this. Leave a comment down below whether this is a good event, what things you liked, what things you don't like, and it's always interesting to read what you say there. And um, again, thanks for watching this video, and I will catch you later. Peace.